Okay there, I am back. Um, we stopped at 1.67 grams, my computer crashed. But anyway, we were right here. We have 1.67 grams and we're going to milligrams. And you see where I moved my decimal places, um, three points to the right to milli. So all you do are add your zeros. So 1.67 grams is 1,670 milligrams. Because I believe one gram is, or one, uh, I think it's one gram is 1,000 milligrams, or the other way around. Um, yeah, one gram is 1,000 milligrams. So that makes total sense. Um, I'll do one more example here. Um, Let's convert from 567 milligrams and let's convert to, let's just go to grams. Let's just do it the other way around. So this is the problem we have. So first thing you gotta do is write it out. Give me my time here. So your milligrams, okay, that's down here. So remember, your milligrams are down here. So that is where you put your decimal point. And it's 567. So you have 567.00. Hope you're with me there. Now we want to move to grams, which is a base. So you just carry your decimal place which will equal 0.567 grams. So I'll leave that there just a second for those of you who um, may be kind of confused to write this down. But it's pretty simple. But the whole thing is, is to make sure that you place your decimal place in the right spot because if you don't, the whole problem will be screwed. So. I don't think you can check my math. You can do the cross out way. It should come out to be exactly the same thing. Um, this exact same kind of thing is in the book. It's like King Harry died because of measles or something like that. So, um, I don't know. Hopefully this helps a little bit more. And don't watch my videos. I'm a nurse, not a singer. So, bye.